Hi, guys. Welcome back. Chef Renee here. Today, we're going to go over weights and measures. Particularly, we're going to go over weight and volume measurements. We have many different ways of uh, measuring things within a recipe. These are called dry measuring cups. Okay. They're measured by volume. We have a scale that's measured by weight. Okay. This is a digital scale. We have liquid measuring cups, which are measured by fluid ounces. Okay. And then we have teaspoons, tablespoons. Okay. So I want to start with the dry measuring cups first. They're measured by volume. We have a one cup, a half cup. We have a third of a cup and we have a quarter of a cup. Now, how it works with the dry measuring cups. This is the pound scale. I'm going to cite an example of how you're probably supposed to use these cups. There is um, a tear button that's on here. Okay, so if you hit zero, we're going to measure only what's in the container itself. You have to hit zero. Now we'll only measure whatever is in this container, not the container itself. Okay, so we're going to take flour, for instance. I'm going to take one cup of flour here. Okay, and this is the pro. Level it off. Okay. And I'm going to measure it by weight now. Okay. So that's how the dry measuring cups work. Now I'm going to move on to fluid ounces. Okay. This is a eight ounce fluid ounce cup. So anything that says FL next to your recipes means fluid ounces. Okay. Now, just like we converted flour, we can convert liquid into weight too as well. Okay. Now, the only thing that weighs, weighs true per weight per volume is water, okay? So eight, eight fluid ounces of water is eight, fluid, is, is eight ounces on a scale. Other than that, everything else has different densities, okay? So for instance, one cup of molasses would not weigh the same as water would weigh, okay? It would never be equal. Be, it has much more density to it. It will weigh much more, okay? Okay, so I'm going to do another example of measurements per volume per weight. I'm going to take one cup of croutons, and I'm going to measure them out by weight. And that is 2.6 ounces. Now, because of the shape of the, the croutons, it actually leaves room within the cup, okay? So it's never going to be true per weight because you're actually taking up much more room within the cup itself, okay? Now, as for teaspoons and tablespoons, it works very similar to that. There's three teaspoons and a tablespoon, okay? The only way to convert this would be the tablespoons say we had a recipe call for one tablespoon of uh, sesame seeds. And we want to multiply that recipe times 20. Okay. Instead of scooping 20 tablespoons of sesame seeds, we can take one tablespoon, take the weight, multiply that weight times 20 and measure all 20 tablespoons at one time. Okay. So that's the conversion with that. It works the same for all weights and measures too. So, Say one uh, eight ounces of flour times four, four times the recipe is sixteen ounces of flour on the scale. Okay, so it all works the same. Okay, okay, guys. I hope that you've learned a little bit here about weights and measures and volumes, and I'll see you next time. Bye.